Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Football Manager 2022. Last time out, you saw us lose the playoff final. So season seven in League One again. Yay! But the squad is looking big as you see it here. We've done it all through from the end of the trans... Basically, for, we've done all of June and all of July off camera as we normally do. And transfer-wise, we have done quite a bit. At the end of last season, we sold Simon Power to St. Johnston for £180,000. I didn't really want to sell him, but they came in and he said he wanted to go. So I just negotiated the best price I could and off he went. Then Portsmouth came in for Xavier Simons, who was a player that I was contemplating moving out of the squad anyway. And then I got a bid and I was able to manage to get 1.1 out of them. So... Uh, We'll take it. We very much added that to our transfer budget. We brought in with that money. We've also sold Scott Butler to Sheffield Wednesday for £30,000. Was out on loan with Notts County for two years. Did very well. Gone to be back up at Sheffield Wednesday, I imagine. Uh, we have brought in Sam Lavelle on a free. 30-year-old centre-back. Experienced. Looks very, very solid indeed. Been playing solidly for Charlton every single season and been pretty damned good at championship level to be fair they came back down to league one for a year and he was even better and then last year was phased out of their starting squad so now he's in mine and hopefully will be very good the only stat that is a little bit questionable is the positioning but other than that it's fine Jordan Rossiter has joined on a free as well you remember him from his time at Liverpool then at Rangers is at Fleetwood IRL and was in this save to start with Regular for them in League One. And then a regular again in the Championship. Earned a move to Stoke. Couldn't really force his way into their squad. So went to Derby. And couldn't really force his way into their squad either. So he's joined me. And will be my new ball winning midfielder. And that is definitely an upgrade on Xavier Simons. Which is what we were wanting to do. Again, 30 years of age. Slightly more experienced. We've signed Hayden Roberts. Slightly younger at 25, primarily probably to play at centre-back, although he is only 5 foot 10. I'm sure we could train him to play in central midfield as well, if, if possible. He can also play at left-back, which is good. Certainly might be able to utilise him there a little bit as well. Means that uh, he joined us from Sunderland. He was at Brighton, IRL, on loan at Swansea in this save. Then on loan at Sunderland in this save. He played very well at Sunderland in League One. Then back to Brighton, moved to Sunderland permanently for 900 grand, and they didn't play him. So that was 900,000 pounds wasted. So I've picked him up for 240k, and hopefully he'll be very, very good for us in a ball playing centre back role. Uh, James Claridge, we had him on loan, of course, from Sheffield United for two years. We had initially made the decision to just stop the loan, not have him for this year, and look elsewhere, which is why we ended up with Roberts. And with Lavelle. Then it turned out James Claridge was available to buy for minimal funds. £73,000. So um, he's come in. And he's valued between 650 k and 1.9 million. So that will do us very nicely indeed. Could be a leading championship player supposedly. And he's obviously been very good for us in the two years that he's been here. So hoping for more from him. We've then also had someone fall into our lap. Peter Bartlett popped up on our radar via a scout report. Has been scoring goals the last two years in the National League and then in League Two for Bolton. And is already at League One level and potentially at Championship Standard. And looks like he's going to be an absolute belter. We're actually going to move him and play him on the right as probably an inside forward rather than a winger or an advanced playmaker or anything. And he will come in and play the role where Simon Power was and where Harvey Nibs was and hopefully be very, very good. We do have some money left to spend at just under a million pounds. My committed spend is close to the end of my wage budget, though. And we are already spending a lot of money on wages, more so than we ever have done at any other point in this save. So I am apprehensive to spend any more. That said, we are looking to move on Manny Mont if we can. We are looking to move on Rolando Warrens if we can. We're looking to loan Dan Lardy and loan Adekoya. So there is still outgoings to happen and the wage budget will come down a bit or wage spend will come down a bit. So hopefully 
there's still perhaps something else we could do. We still got Lewis Gordon as our starting left back. I'm also trying to move on Lewis Thompson actually as well, with no success thus far. Although Doncaster are interested in a loan, he's only got a year left on his deal, I think. No, two years annoyingly. So if I can offer him out permanently, then that'd be great. If he goes, if not, then we'll try and loan him, and we'll just get him off the wage list. So I think the squad is complete. As in, I've got all of the ins I want, but there's still some outs I want to do for financial reasons. So hopefully that will all fall into place for us. We've got a couple of other youngsters going out on loan, as you see. But that is the window thus far. Drop the video like if you're looking forward to Season 7. Please, can we get promoted this year? It's been playoffs three years of the last four. It's been playoff failure three years of the last four. So let's actually get up this year, shall we? Oh, Christ. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any more. Of course, follow me on Twitch so you can see all the behind the scenes and everything that is the unedited highlights and be involved in the transfer windows. But for now, I'm going to cut and I will see you in a moment. I think I'm I think I'm happy. I think I'm really happy with the squad. He's accepted to come as an impact sub. Oh, let's go. I don't care if it's only six months. We can always just renew it in the in the winter window or look elsewhere if we feel like we want to or recall Adekoya. Potential Premier League standard player. Wow. So then, first game of the season. A Malkoval starting goal for us. Ralston on the right. Now, at the back, we're going to go with Masterson and we're going to go with Hayden Roberts. He's only 5'10", Hayden Roberts, but... I think he's going to be able to do a great job for us. Leave him as a regular defender rather than a ball playing. He's great with the ball at his feet anyway, so it doesn't matter. Lewis Gordon is our starting left back now. Now, deep line playmaker. Adam Phillips is absolutely the go-to. Although currently he's short of full fitness, but I'm sure he'll be fine. He's 29 though, so he's getting on a little bit. So his physicality isn't going to be quite so good. Then at the CDM spot, we're going with Jordan Rossiter because, well, it's Jordan Rossiter. On the right-hand side, we're going with uh, Peter Bartlett as an inside forward. At Cam, still Charlie Holmes. On the left, still Mendes Gomez as an inverted wing. And up, stop, up top, still Sam Smith, who is also some way short of full fitness, apparently. But Sam Smith will continue to start for us up top because I don't need to end that sentence. Southward, then we'll have Ocadina and... Lavelle on the bench. Uh, Ranking Costello. Josh Benson. Oakley Booth. Mboyo and Jordan Tell. Oh, no, that's everyone. Okay. Let's take... Actually, no, let's leave it as is then. Let's leave it as is. Rolando Aarons is unregistered. Blake Tracy is only a backup. Dan Lardy we're trying to get a loan for, but he could be useful. I will, I will offer him out for... I'll offer him out for it. And up one more year's loan. One more year's loan. And if they'll pay his full wages, that'd be great. We signed, we got him to sign a new contract purely so we could loan him out. So let's see if we can get him another year's loan. Right, here we go then. Mansfield away. Or is it home? Mansfield at home. First game of the season. It's not going to be a game that defines our entire year. It's a game that nearly defined our year last year. I think we lost to Mansfield late on last season, didn't we? And it was one of the results that cost us the opportunity to f finish in second and go up automatically. So it certainly would like payback. Some new players in the starting lineup. Roberts, Rossiter, Bartlett. Three new players in the 11, but we certainly should be good enough to see off Mansfield here. Got some luck on our side with the Glasses of Destiny from Ali as well. We shall give it a go. Thank you, Matt and Trix, for the follows, boys. Game one of the League One season. Game uno. Here we go. Free kick. I need to go through and actually do my... Oh! Set piece takers. Peter Bartlett gets an assist on debut. The new number nine. Playing on the right-hand side. Stands the ball up. And Connor Masterson is free at the back post to head home. Up the yellers. It looks like it's going to be a pretty straightforward 1-0 win here. Classes of Destiny working well. Thank you, Ali. Three points to start the season and a clean sheet. Very well done. Wasn't an exceptional performance, but it was a win. All we want is the points on the board in the early season. So we're very happy to get the points on the board. 
We sold 2,486 season tickets, which is 250-ish more than we sold last year. So an increase of increase of basically 10%. Increase of 10% in um, season ticket sales, which is fantastic. It's going to be tough to keep everybody happy this season with squad playing time, but that's part of the challenge. Older shot, you can see their lineup on the right hand side there. They are in the second. They're in League Two, I think. It must be because it's the Carabao Cup or the FA Cup. So this is certainly a match we should be winning, though, regardless of the fact that they are a league below us. So let's go and win it, please. We haven't had a shot. Or oh, we've barely had a shot since like the 55th minute. No one's going to win it. It's going to be them. We're playing well. well. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything. Straight to pens then. Straight to pens then. Okay, fine. Jordan Tell, Costello. Ranking Costello. Ooh, he put his foot through that, didn't he? He just walked up, didn't even stop. Just walked, kept walking and then just broke into, broke into a run. Didn't even stop to have any sort of run up. Pereira is having a... A considered run up and buries it very nicely in the bottom corner. Shakawi. You asked for pens, Ali. You've gotten it, but. It is nervy. Saved by Luke Southwood into the second round of the Carabao Cup. We go. Wigan away. They have still Jamali in the middle of their defence. He's been there for so long. They won their first game, but so did we. They finished in the playoffs with us last year, Wigan. They are the side that we beat in the playoff semi-finals last year, Wigan. Three goals to one on both occasions. Don't think this one will be quite so straightforward. I'm be more patient with it. Well intercepted, Ralston. There's that long through ball. Sam Smith. Brilliant block by the defender. Wasn't really firing there was he Sam Smith didn't really look to accelerate away could play in a boyer though oh and his shot is too hot to handle it is an assist for Sam Smith and boyer with a brilliant finish the keeper couldn't keep it out thumped home we lead away from home against Wigan by a goal to nil it's a nice ball to ranking Costello are we gonna seal it with a second I'm quite happy with a one nil win but two would be lovely here is roster again Oh, we nearly did. Good header at the back post. That'll be a victory, though. Whistle's going to go. It's 1-0 Cambridge United. Nice work, everyone. Very good job. Excellent finish by Mboyo. This puts us up into third after two games. Two 1-0 victories. Manny Mont is going to go out on loan, which is good. Gets him out of our hair. Another 90 minutes for Henry Adekoya, though he didn't do too well this time. Conor Masterson was solid again. His defensive work was absolutely fantastic. So glad we made the decision to bring Conor Masterson back. Bristol Rovers at home in seven days' time. Don't change the winning team, they say. So guess who's not going to change that winning team? This guy. Who have Bristol Rovers got? We are at home again, actually. So hopefully... Things go well for us here. Alex Cairns in goal for them is a good goalkeeper. Jake Wakeling obviously scored a lot of goals from the last year. They finished in the playoffs last season, Bristol Rovers, and took Middlesbrough all the way to penalties in the... No, to extra time in the second leg. And unfortunately for them, lost out in the last minute of the second leg of extra time. 121st minute. They've signed Karamoko Dembele. They're going to be going for it again this year. You would imagine Bristol Rovers... They've recruited well. We've recruited well. I don't know how they've started the season thus far. I didn't quite see where they were. They are right behind us. This is third versus fourth in the league. So they're going for promotion again just as we are. But hopefully they're unsuccessful and we are successful. Some missed header by Ralston. Is it going to cost us a goal? Oh, yes it is. Terrible defending all round and goalkeeping too. That's not necessarily gone according to plan. Ralston missed the header as it came over. And when that happens, you almost know that there's going to be a goal. Why the keeper is fumbling that back up there, I've no idea. We get a good block on the first shot, but then it's straight back to Wakeling. 
Got plenty in support. Phillips is there and Boyo spins well. Can he get it into the middle to a teammate? Ralston will. Bartlett. Oh, own goal! It's going to go down as Bartlett's, but it definitely came off a defender. But we are level. It's his first goal for the club and he's very fortunate to get it in the manner that he does. But we'll take it. Phillips to Boyo spins the man well. Has to use the support of Ralston who's still there. Header is on its way in, but hits the defender, and it's the hit off the defender that sends it in. But we'll take it, and Bartlett will take it. He won't care. 1-1. One, one. Oh, a corner. Charlie Holmes. Sam Smith. Yes! First goal of the season for Sammy Smith. That could be us winning again. We will waste time everywhere now, please. Yes, Sam Smith. He's off the mark. He's up and running. And it's an important goal too. How he missed, how he missed the clear-cut header from the six-yard edge of the six-yard box earlier in the early in the stream. I have no idea, but he's been able to bury that one. Come on, see it through, lads. Well done. I don't know whether we deserve to win that. We didn't deserve to lose it, but we certainly might not have deserved to win it. But we don't care. That's three wins from three so far in the league, and puts us joint top. Bournemouth in the Carabao Cup. They only want this to reach the second round, so we don't really mind. We don't really mind if we go out here. Alex Mighton is starting for them. Sean McGurk, uh, Josh Brownhill is another name we recognise. Ben Cabango, they've signed from Swansea. In this window, just gone because we looked at Ben Cabango at Swansea when they got relegated, but it was valued at like six million, so we, there was no chance of us actually getting it. Nobody expects us to get results, so we'll take the pressure off the lads. They can just go out, play, and with whatever, ha whatever happens, happens. I mean, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind the yo-yoing. It'd be better for us financially. But, I mean, it's not like it's not like the, the seasons we've had haven't been entertaining. And it's not like we haven't challenged at the top end. We've had three seasons of the six where we finished in a playoff position. It's definitely had the entertainment factor. It's just not had the actual end result factor. Unfortunately, Sean McGurk has given Bournemouth a 1-0 lead here. Look at the press from Bournemouth. Really hard press, but if they press too much, space space will open up, and it has done. And Charlie Holmes is in. Charlie Holmes will finish. We level. Look at the vitality up the yellows. Really nicely put together move as well. Rode the pressure. Passed it about in a composed manner. Pass and move. Pass and move, and a tidy finish too. Ball about, playing the ball about with quite some confidence and purpose here. And Alex Martin will squeeze that home. And he was looking complacent, Luke Southwood. Yeah, guess who just fucking conceded a goal, pal, after gifting them possession back? You, mate. Especially if they score a third now. Oh, a little bit lucky with the deflection. Man, just completely free here. Yeah, that's a hell of a goal. Marco Friedel makes it... 3-1. Game well and truly over from now, I think. We've not been bad. But it's probably the way you would have expected this sort of result to go. Which is fine. Quite happy with that. Just say unlucky. Would have been nice, but wasn't to be. Doesn't bother me at all losing to Bournemouth. They are 16th in the championship. And have... Been up and down twice from the Premier League. Promoted season one, relegated season two, playoff season three, mid table season four, promoted season five, and relegated season six. Lincoln away. They are 23rd in the table so far, so not had as good a start as us domestically in the league. Carnell, former Cambridge man, in there. We'll see what we can do here. We should, we should be winning this if we consider ourselves promotion challengers. We have just lost to Bournemouth, obviously, but they're in poor form and not a great side. We're in, well, in the league, un great form. Three wins from three. Fleetwood won nil up inside the first minute against Wigan as well. Fleetwood mean business this season, don't they? They are flying. Overlapping run. There's Ralston. Many in the middle, including Mendes Gomez. 1-0 Cambridge United. Yes! There we go. Two minutes into the second half, we've got our lead. Now the shot's been on target, and it's gone in too. 
Lovely football as well. Bartlett to Holmes. Excellent vision. Lovely cross. Goal. As James resubscribes for a fifth month. We'll dedicate that goal to you, sir. Thank you very much, my man. Charlie Holmes with a corner now. Oh, and Sam Smith's up for a second. He's only scored from corners. He's not scored from open play yet. Only from set pieces, but... Not that bothered at the moment. Not that bothered at the moment. We're still getting goals. We're still getting wins. When he does finally get up and running properly, then we really are going to be a force to be reckoned with in this division this season. Like last year. And on goal difference, that puts us top. 19 shots, 9 on target. XG of over 2. A deserved victory. Nice work. Well done. Good performance, gentlemen. Another 3 points to add to the tally. Keeps us joint top of the table as Fleetwood did score a second after they had a man sent off. They managed to get themselves a penalty. Second in the league, but joint top. Wimbledon away then in the Papa John's Trophy the tournament that we won last year. And uh, then supposedly defending. We are defending champions for the first time in anything in this save. But all I care about this year is promotion. So, I don't care what happens in this competition. We're not starting a strong side. We won't ever start a strong side. But we did that last year and still managed to get to the final and bloody win it. So, who knows? <laughs> I'd rather have lost the final of the Papa John's against Middlesbrough and then beaten them in the bloody playoff final. But never mind. It is what it is. Pens here then as well. It was... Uh... I'll just say stay calm. Back yourselves like we did last time. Pens in the Carabao Cup, we went through. Pens in the Papa John's, will we get the win? So we're up next and we need to score. Josh Benson needs to score to give us the victory in the Papa John's trophy. And I don't give a shit about whether he does or not. We'd rather go out this competition as early as possible and get promoted to the championship and never have to play in this bloody football competition again. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, here we go. If they score, they're through, Wimbledon. Please score, please. Well, I say they're through. It's the group stage. So odd, isn't it, the way that it works with two, two points and a penalty win. Oh, never mind. Wimbledon win. We get a point for the draw. And uh, we'll just be happy enough that we didn't lose in regulation time. So it doesn't really go down as a loss for us. And with the rotated 11, everyone's getting more minutes. So everyone should be happy. We're going to finish deadline day and that will be us done for the time being. Honestly, or kind of turned it around against Watford's under 23s in the end. Uh, Preston have made a bid for Mendes Gomez. He's no interest in joining them. They're offering me 275k for a player that had 29 goal contributions last year. I know his contract's expiring at the end of the season, but come on now. There is not a chance. Adam Phillips has said he promises he'll score his next pen. Don't worry, pal. It's fine. Scouting finished. Dan Rose would be decent, apparently, as a right back. Not sure. I'm just kind of having a look at... Uh, oh, there you go. The deal for Brad Young fell through because Hibs couldn't find a suitable replacement. We offered to loan him back, but then he was like, I want to be a star player. Like, mm, get out of it, mate. Uh, that's fine. We don't not really that bothered about not being too heavily involved in transfer deadline day. We made an opportunistic attempt to try and win the uh, the goalkeeper from Bradford, but steal him away from Hibs, but he didn't go anywhere anyway. So we can always go for him in another window, if needs be, at the end of the season, perhaps. Quite happy with the squad registration. We don't have to register goalkeepers. And Boyo and Bartlett are both under 21, as is Amalco still, somehow. So we're absolutely fine with the squad. Loads of players out on loan. Loads of players still here. We've got Preston at home in 10 days' time. But as we end the transfer window, we will also end the stream and YouTube videos. So whilst 
on YouTube, we say thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow the uh, Twitch channel. Link in the description down below. Make sure you're uh, dropping likes and leaving your feedback in the comment section. Where do you think I'll finish this year? We're currently joint top of the table after four games? Five games? After four games. Four wins from four so far, but we have Preston next, who are one of the better sides, better squads in the division. So we'll wait and see how we get on. But for now, that's all for this YouTube content. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.